going to talk some more UFC in a little bit, some boxing topics, and um, also, of course, NBA, football. I'm going to talk about it all. But I want to bring on Tim first. Tim, you've got some baseball news to share with us, so go ahead. Yeah, and this one really caught everyone off guard. Uh, everyone basically tonight was looking at the Heisman, looking at UFC 140, and this kind of overshadowed the Heisman especially. Ryan Braun, the reigning NL MVP, has tested po- – well, actually, it came out today that he tested positive for a PED, performance-enhancing drug, during the playoffs. This was reported by Mark Farron-Wada, author, author of Game of Shadows, and uh, T.J. Quinn of ESPN. Braun, this is basically what happened. He, During the playoffs, you're forced to take another drug test. He failed it, and MLB, as usual, just brushes things off like they don't matter. And then he got a second test, and what came out was that the first test, he tested too high for the amount of testosterone. So they sent it for a second test, and it came back that the testosterone in his body was synthetic and that it was not naturally produced. So he's going to be facing a 50-game suspension that he has already said he will appeal. Uh, he, when he was basically tonight, they said that he told the USA Today that the report or the test was BS. A spokesman for him said, there are highly unusual circumstances surrounding this case, which will support Ryan's complete innocence and demonstrate that there was absolutely no intentional violation of the program. While Ryan has an impeccable character and no previous history, unfortunately, because of the process, we have to maintain confidentiality and are not able to discuss it any further. But we are confident he will ultimately be entertained. So, I mean, I would love to sit here and believe that Ryan Braun didn't do this and that everything his camp is saying is true and that he just naturally has some problem with his body. But when he's being t- has been tested since he's been in the minor leagues for the past nine years, I really find it hard to believe that just now it's coming out that he has a testosterone issue. Wow, that's blockbuster news. So there's another guy caught cheating and... Um, <sighs> So, uh, Mark uh, Farwin, I can't remember how to pronounce his name. I know who you're talking about, the guy who wrote the book Game of Shadows. Uh, so he's the one that broke this information, Tim? Yeah, he's with ESPN now. Him and TJ Quinn, they basically work on all the steroid things, and they've been basically out of a job for the last few years since all that stuff's gone away for the most part, but with this coming out and with HGH testing coming into play next year, I have a feeling we're going to hear about a few more people that we didn't know, that we didn't want to hear about, and Ryan Braun and me is a guy that I never suspected. It really caught me off guard. Wow. Yeah, I don't even know what to say. I'm at a loss for words. I'm kind of surprised by this. I, he would have been one of the last guys I would have expected. Now... Is there any chance we're going to hear even more names coming out now? In terms of uh, Ryan Braun, I, I think this will be a slow process, but ultimately he'll be suspended for 50 games, and then the MLB will try and act like it didn't happen. I, I don't know. It's it, This is pretty bad for the MLB because the one thing that had seemed to go away over the past few years is all these drug things, and now this brings back up the image that baseball had in the early and early 2000s of this steroid-ridden game that uh, this certainly doesn't help when your MVP, who shouldn't have been the MVP, by the way, but your MVP win or is testing positive during the playoffs. Uh, fortunately, the Brewers didn't go on to win the World Series, or so this would be even bigger news. But I just the one thing I don't understand about the MLB is I know you have to go through the sending it a second time for to confirm the results, but why do you allow someone to play during the playoffs and then say, oh, we're we're, we're going to suspend you next season for this? Well, here here's something that I find interesting. Uh, this is from Reggie Miller's Twitter. He's neighbors with Ryan Braun. He says. 
Just spoke with my neighbor, Ryan Braun. He says test is bogus. Can only believe a man for his word. Truth will always come off, as Reggie Miller said. So I, I know Ryan Braun's appealing this uh, imminent suspension. Do you, does it sound to you from the information that you have uh, found that there's any chance that this could just be a false positive? No, because it was te he tested positive for it twice, and I, I just can't see a way that you could possibly test positive for something twice. And, and it was probably Ryan Braun was getting tired down the stretch. He knew it was his last year with Prince Fielder, so he looked to get some uh, what of an advantage. I mean, the one thing that people have said is that Ryan Braun has always kind of spoken out against this. When A-Rod tested positive a few years ago, or it came out that he tested positive, he said that he would have no reason do it, to do it, and if he did it, he'd be hitting 60 and 70 home runs. So, I mean, I, I don't know. Ryan Braun has been a great player since day one in the MLB, and this has just kind of put a black eye on his career so far. The chances of him getting out of the suspension are about zero. No player has ever appealed to suspension since the new drug program has gone in and won their case and had their suspension reduced. So the chances of that happening are about zero. Wow. So it's, it's a done deal. Um, 